How you doing viewers? Welcome back to the Creedum Publishing Company YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, just click the subscribe button so you can get updates on all our videos. And today we are going to cover book vending tables. So I'm just going to touch on some of the some of the things you need to have, some of the things you should have, because as an up and coming author. One of the things I look for is information on what should you have at book vendors. And I couldn't really find much, but I just looked at other pictures of other authors during their events and see, saw what they had on their table and just put a little list together of must-haves and other things that can uh, attract people to your table. So we are here and we have one set up right here just to give you an idea of what's going on. So we're going to back up a little bit. Obviously, one of the first things that catches people's att attention at vending events are banners. So you want to have a banner that has your book information, your author information, whatever you want, website information. And obviously we have this one that represents the company and we have a crime fighters banner just specifically for children's festival event so whenever we go to the children's book events we could just have the banners specifically for that event um, one of the things about the banners you notice is these have the metal grommets the other one doesn't so we had to get a retractable stand for this banner specifically but it's recommended to get the grommets no matter what this this stand is much sturdier than this one obviously most events are inside for the most part, most book events, book festivals and expos. But if you have one outside, one of the things you need to take into consideration is the stand that you're holding your banner up on. Some people can do the horizontal banner, which goes across the front of the table you have. And one of the ways to keep that on is Velcro strips you put on to hold the banner up or Velcro um, not Velcro or zip ties that can tie on depending on the table you have. So this is a six foot table. Let's get into the table now. This is a six foot table, and obviously one of the things, the first thing you see is the, the tablecloth. Uh, we went with the black tablecloth just because, just for the generic uh, look. One of the things I did read is bright colored tablecloths catch catches the attention of people walking by. So. One of the things you may want to go with, especially during children's book festivals or things of that nature or something that uh, works around your theme or your company or your books is maybe a colored tablecloth, maybe a blue or red, a yellow, something that will stand out and make you look different from everyone else because white tablecloths are pretty common at book expos and obviously black will be the second most common one. So one way to stand out just by doing something simple is getting a different couple of tablecloth. And what we have here in the middle is a tablecloth runner. It's not part of the tablecloth. The tablecloth runner is something you may want to get if you don't have a banner. So one of the things about the banner is you want people to walk by and see your book or see your company or see your author name, even if they're not walking by the table, just to catch their attention. So if you don't have the space, because some events may not have the space to put up a banner, a vertical banner, so you may want to get a table runner customized and we can provide that information where we got this one this, this one's real nice we put the logo company name website and we actually put the logo and company name on the top side of the banner so the middle of the tablecloth runner so that's one good thing that you can use in, in place of an actual banner because I know some people have issues of uh, holding it up to the tablecloth so if you, don't, if you want to avoid that issue, just get a tablecloth runner. One of the things I want to backtrack and point out is with the tablecloth, when you order the tablecloth, if it's not provided for the event, make sure you get one that's long, that covers, every, that covers, that touches the floor. Because one of the things you'll see later in the video is you'll have things that you'll bring with you, things you can put under the table, and it's just professional, not for everyone to see them, everyone not to uh, be able to have reach to those things. So if you get a long tablecloth, you can just stick stuff under the table and no one will know it's there. So it's easy concealment for some of your things. So obviously, 
another thing we'll touch on is you see the banner you want to have flyers and for this one our flyer that we have looks just like the banner so if someone if the banner catches the eye of someone and they really like it what better thing to have is a flyer that looks exactly like it that they can take home with this flyer um, you have the information of the books. This is a general company flyer, so it's a little different than if you just have one book or your uh, have the author. You may have your information on the flyer as well, but we have the um, the logo, the company name, the slogan, the great books for the entire family. Just because we have the adult books up here and the crime fighter characters down here, so we have all our information, our sites, and we also have a QR code that they can scan from their phone and go right to the site. And for this banner, we have, once again, the identical flyer. So, like I said, if someone likes it, if their child walks by and likes the banner, they can take a flyer home and enjoy the characters and the uh, visuals at home. They still have all your information. Another thing you want to have is business cards. So, we have that right here, and it's in a nice little... Uh, holder so this this is a brochure holder the thing that's a technical name for it, with a business card uh, holder on the front so you kill two birds with one stone by purchasing one of these you can just put the flyers in the back and have the business cards in the front if you don't have this you want to cut out some of the funds all everything I'm explaining right here is inexpensive like they're very inexpensive and we have a book by CL Laurie called The Struggles and Success of Self-Publishing that will be coming out this summer, 2016, that will break down the prices for each of these things, where we got them from, and ways to cut back. And you can save a lot of money, a ton of money, but you can save even more doing things your own way, making things, and cutting back on some of these uh, items as well. So if you, just, if you don't have the flyer or the brochure holder, you can just put your flyers in front of the books just like so and obviously people can just grab them as they go uh, along with the everything else the advertisement obviously you want to have your books and this is one of the ways you can display your books these are on book stands so you just sit them right on I'll take one off these are from book stands they're very affordable very very affordable these actually cost one dollar so like I said you if you get the book from CLRE, The Struggles and Success of Self-Publishing, you will have the price breakdown over to get all these things and you can get a lot of cool stuff for cheap prices. So you can have your uh, books displayed in the front. Obviously, we have the Crime Fighters books and have the extras in the back, the ones you're going to just sell and give away. And obviously, on the same note, for the novels, you have the same thing. You have the book on display in the front and extras in the back so you can just sell and give away and you don't want to one of the things that i believe uh, is just my opinion on displaying books is you don't want to put all your books on the table so you don't want to have a stack you still want it to be neat so you don't want to have a high stack of books just because for that purpose you want the neat purpose of, of things and you also want to be able to sell so if the less books you have the more someone would think oh there people are buying them up so it must be something good so you also want to have the uh psychological factor in there as well when you're marketing and displaying and advertising so you have the books you have your displays obviously you want to have a sharpie or pen on hand just for any signings people may want anything you want to write down we have a blank clipboard right here and this purpose is for an email or newsletter sign up sheet when you have a sign up sheet you can build your fan base and let them know of anything that and everything that comes out from your company from you as an author and just just new books and new information period you can notify them of the events so if you have an email list and you print one out just have one here have a pen on deck so people will be able to sign it so you're not People aren't asking you for if you have a pen. You're not expecting people to have pens. You have pens right here. So they could take a quick couple seconds to write their email down and maybe their name, but you just need their email and you'll have that for a newsletter. And since we're on the topic of pens, 
I'm going to point to this area right here around the sign up sheet. One of the incentives that you can get people to sign up, not even just sign up, but to grab their attention to come over to your table is is something that we all love and that's free stuff. So everything around the clipboard right here is free. Free giveaways and you can get so creative with this. You can get so uh, good with some of the things you get that they will actually help boost your sales, help grab attention and help build your fan base. So one of the things you want to do is when you are exhibiting at events, you want to tell people that are free. Hey, we got a couple of free things. We want to get a free pen. We have some free candy. We have free snack giveaways, which are here. We have, and another thing we got that was very affordable is free buttons. So we'll just go through everything one by one. When it comes to the pens, along with free pens, you can get these as a company, as a writer, as anything you want. And it's promotional pens. So they have a uh, Creedum Publishing Company on them. They have the slogan and they have the website. You can do phone numbers. You can fit a lot of information on it. And obviously, like we said, you get that the struggles and success of self-publishing book this summer and you'll have all the information in the sites we got these pens from. They were very affordable. And also, the buttons were very affordable. So you get these pens, you leave one down there, have people sign up and say, hey, that pen's free, that pen's yours, take it home. Next thing you know, you'll have pins in people's homes and they'll pick it up one day you never know they'll just visit your site see the books or they'll remember you just get something that people can get the take home that they won't forget about you because there's going to be hundreds of vendors there you have to make yourself stand out so one of the ways you can stand out is going home with somebody even if they don't buy one of your books you're sending something home with them that's going to remind them of your company your brand your books and you as an author so they should have flyers in their uh, bags, in their pockets to take home, your business card, uh, a couple snacks, a pen, and even a button. These were very, very affordable. So this button is actually the Creedum Publishing logo. So that'd be something cool people could take home. And this one right here is the Crime Fighters character. So if you have children's books, if you have specific characters in your book, make some cool Buttons, cool little flyers, pictures, anything, magnets, anything you can that you can give away to people and they can take home. They'll like it. No one's going to turn down free stuff. And if the free stuff is related to your brand, related to your company, has your company information on it, that's even more of a reason you should want to give it up. Another thing we have here is treats. One thing that can bring people to your table, believe it or not, are free snacks. So if you got free candy here, hey. Stop by here. Here, here's a piece of candy. Come get some candy. Come get some pens. Come get a button. Give them a flyer while you're at it, and then just hope. Uh, hopefully, they'll maybe stop and ask you about your book, or hopefully, you'll have a couple more seconds to pitch your book to them while you're while they're grabbing some free stuff. And once again, you want to say, hey, even if they're stopping by, they're not buying a book. Hey, get a free candy. Hey, why you do that? You mind if you sign up for the email and send you information about our company, about our books? If they say no, hey, they still have free uh, promotional information that they can take with them. Uh, the last thing that we have here for free giveaways are uh, candy dip pretzels. These are nice little cool snacks if someone doesn't want uh, a piece of candy and they want something more <laughs> that'll fill them up more, they can grab a free pretzel. These are good if you have a family member, a spouse, a friend that uh, is a baker that has a, a baking dessert company, or even if you want to team up with a company and say, hey, you, uh, you're interested in helping them with free promotion. They can stick their company sticker or slogan on there, and you can just give away free snacks. Like I said, it's very you're going to spend some money getting the materials for this, but it's, at the end of the day, it's very inexpensive. And it's going to draw people to your table. And, you're going to, and it's going to make you stand out amongst the other exhibitors. That's the main key. You want to stand out. And that's what we preach. Like, once again, get the book from... I'm going to keep plugging it throughout this whole video. The struggles and success of self-publishing. These are some of the success tips. And one of them is standing out. So, this is the front of your table. This is a six-foot table. 
most events you go to, you're going to have a six foot table or another common size is a four foot table. So everything on here can be condensed to make it fit in a four foot table. One of the things you do not want to do is clutter your table with a lot of stuff. They're going to get knocked over. They don't get uh, uh, unseen because something might be in the way. So like I said, keep it nice and neat and you will, have, you will do just fine when it comes to the display. One of the other things you can do that I have also seen is, oh, tip this over, is you can get a poster made for your book and place it behind the book so it's a nice large poster that's going to catch the people's attention when they walk by. Once again, you want to catch people's attention. So we'll touch on some of those things in the, the struggles and success of self-publishing, of other things, not just the things we have here, other things you can get that help you promote your stuff and promote your brand at exhi exhibitions and events. So that's the front of the table. That's the top of the table. So when you go behind the table, there are a couple things you want to have. And one of the main things is you want to have books. So if you sell this stack of books, you sell all these books, and people are coming up to your table and say, hey, I want this. Do you have any more? Make sure you go right behind your table and boom. You got a nice little bin with more extra books. Obviously, you want to have extra candy, extra promotional items if you need to give them out. You not you don't want to give them all away at one event. You want to, obviously you want to for um you want to be conservative when you're giving them out. You have a nice amount you give out, and then you save the next for the next event. So, well, nothing you can have is a receipt book. Just so you can keep track if someone wants a receipt. You never know. You also keep track of yourselves that way. You want a you want two chairs. Obviously, I don't want to walk past the chairs. You want two chairs because because you may want to help her. The more the merrier. So if you have someone there to help you, it will go things will go much smoother. You can interact with customers while they handle sales or they can restock things that go empty or you both can interact, but you can have someone here. And also, you have a sense of security if you have someone watching your things because one of the things that's back here that you are going to want is a cash box. Very affordable. Like I said, this is a nice little cash register with a key lock on it. You can make sure you have enough change to make change because the last thing you want to do is turn away a potential seller because, I mean, a potential buyer because you don't have change for whatever they uh, may want to give you. So, you want to have change. You want to have... Uh, someone operating this so you 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 don't have to worry about someone picking your cash box up someone taking anything of yours you have someone here and you want to bring chairs just in case the event only gives you one chair or they only give you any chair some events give you just a space so you'll need the tables in the chair so make sure you bring those and you want to have a calculator just so you're not messing up the math and uh, miscalculating people's chain another thing you want to have is thank you bags Thank you bags, obviously, you want to have something to put the books in, something to put uh, the free giveaways in, and, or even if someone is just walking by, this is another thing to get their attention. They're walking by, they got a lot of stuff in your hand, they don't seem interested in your company, your brand, at that time you can say, hey, excuse me, do you need a bag? Because if, if they have a lot of things in their hand, and they may say yes, boom. You got their attention at that moment. You give them a bag, put a flyer in it, put a pen in it, put a button in it, put some candy in it, put anything in it to so that they can go home with your your uh, your products. And they may even stop and actually purchase a book. So these are just some of the things that you should want to have when you're doing an exhibit. And just to go over them once again, just to list them for you, a banner, preferably horizontal or vertically your choice your books book stands flyers flyer holders or brochure holders business card holders business cards some free giveaways candy a sign up sheet with a clipboard a pen a sharpie to write if you can sign your name if anyone wants to autograph tablecloth tablecloth runner that's optional a nice bin to keep everything stored, a nice suitcase to keep everything stored and easy to carry, extras of everything, cash box, which is optional but is a great thing, calculator, 
and bags to put books in and obviously chairs, table, and a receipt book are all optional. Like I said, there are a lot of things you can do and get to bring out your table even more. So don't let, just use this as a initial or preliminary guide and just get very creative and have a lot of fun when you do your books. You can display a lot of things and you can have a lot of fun decorating and putting things together that was going to draw people's attention and draw a lot of attention to your books, to your company, to you, and to your brand. If you want us to touch on any other topics regarding publishing and marketing, you can email us at creedompublishing at outlook.com or you can leave a comment below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the video. Make sure you share the video. The more people that know about this, the more information we can get out there, the happier we are because we are here to help. We are one of the companies that are here to help everyone or anyone that has any questions about marketing, about self-publishing, and even traditional publishing. So you can also visit our website or visit Amazon for any of our books. Obviously, I got to throw the plug in there for the Crime Fighters, which are a diverse group of heroes that your children will love. I guarantee you that. We have the Crime Fighters introduction book, and we have the Crime Fighters coloring book for your children. We also have the Black Badge Confessions of Corruption, and it is exactly what the title says. These are confessions from eight corrupt police officers obviously this is a touchy subject and is a very current subject in today's society and this book is very informative we recommend it for everyone from the public from other police officers just so you can see what type of temptations you will face once you get this job or while, or while you're on the job and ways to deal with it that these officers didn't deal with the proper way and got them in a lot of trouble. So this is a very interesting book, very great book. We've got a lot of good reviews on Amazon. So check it out. Check it out on our site. Our site has the, all these books for a lower price than the Amazon. So if you want to save a couple dollars, you can order it directly from the company. Once again, this is Creedum Publishing Company, and we want you to stay blessed and have a lot of success. Subscribe to our videos. Thank you.